Log in to your Amazon Marketplace account. Type Audio Tools Cloud into the search bar at the top and click the magnifying glass to proceed. Click on the Audio Tools Cloud search result to continue to the product page. To get started, click the yellow Continue button. Next, click the Manual Launch tab, locate the region that is physically closest to you, and click the Launch with EC2 Console button to the right of your region. From the available options, pick a machine that suits your needs. The different EC2 instance types vary in processing power, e.g. cores, memory, network performance, and the similar. Cost for each instance type is based on linear runtime, or the amount of time the instance is running. As a general rule of thumb, the more optimized the machine, the more expensive it is to operate per hour. A more optimized machine will, however, let you process more audio content in less time. For estimating costs, go to the Pricing Detail section of the Audio Tools Cloud product page. Tick the checkbox to the left of the instance and click Next Configure Instance Details. Note, this is the most important screen of the manual launch setup. Locate the IAM Role option and select Create New IAM Role to the right of the drop-down list. Click the Create New Role button to proceed. Name your new role. For this example, we'll name our new role S3 Access. Click Next Step. Click the Select button to the right of the Amazon EC2 AWS Service Role Type option. You can manually scroll to locate the policy names you require. However, there are hundreds of policy entries available. That said, we recommend you use the policy type search bar to locate the required policy entries for S3 and EC2 full access. Type Amazon EC2 full access into the policy type search field. Click the checkbox to the left of the policy name. Type Amazon S3 full access into the policy type search field. Click the checkbox to the left of the policy name. Now that you've selected the two required policies for this use case, Clear the search field and scroll through the list to ensure that the checkbox to the left of each required policy is ticked. Click Next Step. Review the new role you have configured and click the Create Role button to proceed. Close out of the IAM page and click the Refresh icon located to the right of the IAM Role drop-down list. Select S3 Access from the IAM Role drop-down list. Note. Once you've created your S3 Access role, you can always specify S3 Access as your IAM role in the Configure Instance Details page when launching a new instance. Click Next Add Storage to proceed. Click Next Add Tags. Click Next Configure Security Group. Tick the Select an Existing Security Group radio button, select one of the security groups in the list, and click the blue Review and Launch button. Review your configuration and settings and click Launch to proceed. If you have not set up a key pair before, you will need to create one. To do this, select Create a new key pair from the drop-down list. Enter in a name for your key pair and click Download Key Pair to save the .pem file you created to the directory of your choosing. Select a key pair from the drop-down menu and click Launch Instances to proceed. Click the View Instances button to proceed. Select your instance. When the status checks changes to two out of two checks with the green check to the left, the instance is up and running. You can use either public DNS IPv4 or the IPv4 public IP in your web browser to view the website. On the welcome page, enter the instance ID for the password.